I've asked Dr. Gordon Dunning of the Division of Biology and Medicine of the Atomic Energy Commission to tell you of this. The fallout was to the east and relatively heavy for several hundred miles. There were three main points of interest. Ronjalap, 110 miles distance, with 82 natives. Ronjerik, 150 miles, with no native population, but 20 weather personnel. Uterik, 280 miles, with 154 natives. At Ronjalap, evacuation was accomplished at H plus 51 hours. Many of the natives were sick with symptoms not unlike those associated with radiation sickness. However, upon medical examination at Kwajalein, it appeared at that time that there was no evidence of radiation injury. The estimated gamma whole body dose was 100 to 125 Rentkins. If they had not been evacuated, they might have received as high as 340 Rentkins. On Ranjerik Atoll, eight men of the weather station were evacuated at H plus 28 hours. The remaining 12 were taken out at H plus 34 hours. The doses indicated by film badges, which are quite reliable, were about 40 Rankins. The only film badge in a group of three men registered about 98 Rankins. From this, uh, one may assume that all three uh, received about this dosage. At Uteric, with a population of 154, the doses were considerably less than those received by the natives at Ranjalap. However, by evacuation, the radiation dose received by the natives was reduced from a possible 50 to 60 Rankins to about 15 Rankins. In all cases, decontamination of exposed personnel was carried out and the radiation levels were reduced to an insignificant point. All of those exposed were taken to Kwajalein where complete physical examinations were carried out. With each evacuation team sent in was a representative of the trust territory. Every effort was made to assure the comfort and well-being of the natives. Radiation survey teams will be flown back to the atolls, at which time soil and water samples will be taken. Data obtained from evaluation of these samples will be very valuable in the Gabriel studies.